Before placing text on the design, be sure to select the correct layer assignment. You can open the layer manager by clicking on the down arrow. You can add another layer specifically for text if necessary using the layer manager. Simply click on the add layer button. Enter a new name of the layer and press enter. You can assign a color for the layer as well by clicking on the color button. Click one time with the left mouse button in the column to the left of the layer name to make this layer the current drawing layer. You can select the text command from the draw menu or from the toolbar icon. The text command will allow you to place one or more lines of text on the drawing screen. You can also copy and paste text from other applications into the text command. The command will recognize page return characters. Enter the text to place on the screen in the text entry box. The text will wrap to multiple lines in the entry box, but the text will not wrap to multiple lines on the drawing screen unless you press the Enter key to create a page return character. Select the font style for the text from the font drop-down menu. A sample of the selected font will appear in the text preview window at the bottom of the dialog box. Adjust the font characteristics by clicking on the checkbox to the left of the bold, italic, and underlined boxes. A check mark in the box indicates the characteristic is turned on or enabled. An empty box indicates the characteristic is turned off or disabled. A sample of the selected font and enabled characteristics will appear in the text preview window at the bottom of the dialog box. Adjust the alignment of the text by clicking on the Alignment drop-down menu and clicking on the selection of choice. The alignment determines the position of the text in relation to the mouse cursor during placement. The alignment location is shown in the text preview window as a small blue plus sign. Enter the height of the font in the Font Height text box. The height is related to the units of measurement setting. For example, a setting of 10 will equate to 10 feet or 10 meters depending on the units of measurement setting. The height is not reflected in the text preview window. Enter the angle of rotation for the text in the rotation text box. The effects of the angle change will appear in the text preview window as well. You can associate information with the string of text by entering an attribute in the attribute ID text box. This will allow you to insert an attribute into a title block and edit the information associated with the attribute using the title block command. Refer to the video on placing a title block for more information on the attribute feature. Click on the Place Text button and click one time with the left mouse button. The text will appear on the mouse cursor. Drag the mouse to the desired location and click one time with the left mouse button to place the text on the drawing screen. Once text is on the design screen, you can edit the text or its characteristics using the Properties command. You can also move, rotate, or scale the text using those commands available in the Edit menu or via their hotkey combinations.